there are plenty of paid courses coachings which can conveniently make you prepare for git but there is not a single organized video which just arranges everything for git electrical aspirants to prepare freely so i thought to make one such video is it possible to crack git by just self study yes it is possible to prepare completely free and i will explain how there will be no money spent in your preparation all you will require to buy a test series to test your preparation before that i want to honestly explain the trade off which will come with free preparation and that is time the extra time required because there is so much and more than required free material available online when you join some coaching it just gives you everything arranged from lectures chapter wise numerical subject wise test series notes and even revision short notes and that is the comfort you get when you take some course or paid coaching in fact you should take a paid coaching only if you have less than a year for your gate preparation gate preparation using paid courses may have only one disadvantage like when students gets everything arranged he is just study that solve numerical and gets the rank well that's enough for cracking gate but such students are not well versed with deep engineering knowledge hence self study and coaching study both have advantages and trade offs let us say a student have one plus year of time provided 8 hours daily then i would rather say that it is very much possible to prepare for gait freely using free resources available online so means you can be either in first to fifth semester of your btech and you can easily prepare for gait at zero cost you have to buy just one test series all you would require to have passion discipline self confidence and patience and this video is certainly going to ease your gait journey because video would explain to filter out the best free content how to get ahead chapter by chapter and subject by subject where to find numericals how to solve them how to clear doubts eventually the revision strategy and giving the series cracking the gate with best possible rank so guys let's just do it first let us briefly analyze the syllabus as you can see there are total 10 technical subjects which carry 85 marks and along with that there are 15 marks general aptitude questions those 85 marks are covered by 55 technical questions and 15 ga marks consist of 10 questions leading to total 65 questions of 100 marks we need to make a strategy to prepare them and for that I am carefully dividing these subjects into three levels. You can see the classification on to your screen and this classification is not done randomly. There is a reason for it. So let us shift our entire focus to level 1.1 first. These are simple electrical subjects which are easy to understand and that is why I had put them into level 1.1. The first subject should always be network theory because that is based to understand any other electrical subject. After that you must switch to control system, signal and system. These are core electrical subjects which makes your base further strong. stronger your gate exam would also have many good question from these subjects hence it is your duty to provide required attention analog and digital electronics are basically core ec subjects but gate electrical also includes them these are sort of easy and interesting subjects at the same time scoring as well electromagnetics have very less syllabus in electrical gate compared to ece gate so you can complete it easily measurement also is not that much important but it is must to study basics at least because easy questions should not be left when you are giving your exam basically level 1.1 will complete your electrical engineering fundamental and you will be good to go for advanced subjects and around 50 marks of preparation is completed with this level trust me there are so many free resources available you just need to filter out the best content for yourself 
so at very first i will be suggesting you the way to find out the content i will also suggest nptl courses or nptl alternative for the same for each subject and if you are able to understand professors and want deep knowledge then nptl is best but the pace of nptl lectures is usually very slow and boring so all the dedication must come from inside you to complete nptl course matlab aapko khud se hi bahut dedicated rehna padega otherwise aap bore ho jayenge aur fir continue nahi kar payenge i will pick network theory as base subject and will explain how to learn freely taking you to the youtube and first we will see non nptl courses so just search network theory full playlist and let us see how many courses are there and what topics they cover courses from dhande sir ankit goel sir and few other names such as niso academy are there now it will create a lot of confusion in your mind hence at first you need to check how much syllabus each one cover and which teaching style you like so ek do lectures dekho sab mein ke and then decide the playlist based on your interest and which have most of the topics available once you decide the particular playlist you just need to watch that only religiously when the decided playlist is complete you need to cross check git syllabus and check if some topic is missed or not note down the left out topics and search those topics on youtube and cover them from some other creator of your choice make sure to complete everything like basics to sabke complete hone chahiye isliye aapko har ek topic cover karna hai i can understand little bit more time would be required to do all this and that is why i said to go for self study and free preparation only if you have 1 plus year of time and you can devote 8 plus hours hours for preparation daily if you are devoting 4 hours on consistent basis then the required time would be automatically 2 plus years now let's go to nptel version of free learning so i would suggest to go with nptel preparation if you are capable enough to learn on slow pace and 1.5 plus years of time is there assuming 8 hours daily because nptel would be a slow learning but your knowledge would be exceptional to iska course dhoondne ke liye search network theory nptel playlist watch one lecture from two or three playlist and see which professor is able to explain you in the best way choose that playlist follow the professor don't do mistake of jumping here and there for a single subject like ye topic yahan se pad lete hain wo wahan se pad lete hain chahe aap nptel wale raste se ja rahe hain ya non nptel wale raste se but ek jagah decide ho ke usi jagah se hi padhiye usually nptel would cover more than as required in gate so take an eye on gate syllabus and leave the extra topics the topics which are not in the syllabus just leave them and that would be your smart work for example in this playlist graph theory is there but in syllabus it is not laplace transform and all is there which you would also study in signal and system you can avoid studying same thing on two different subjects that is why always keep an eye on gate syllabus so that you can easily eliminate the not required topics from nptel playlist i will add all links in description for all the subjects including nptel and my personal favorite would be on number 1 just visit the description you will find each and every link i hope i am able to explain you the method to extract the best lectures but only watching lectures won't cover the subject fully there are two more things associated with this first one is to take the notes it is highly recommended from my side to make the notes second important thing is to solve questions related to the topic immediately just give google search and you will get the chapter wise pdfs of each and every subject if you can afford to buy the chapter wise dpps then that would also work so by doing all this you will be completing all subjects of level 1.1 at very first please make sure to solve numericals on each and every topic because competitive exam mein kabhi easy question nahi chhodna chahiye इसीलिए सबके बेसिक्स पते होने जरूरी हैं। लेवल 1.2 पॉइंट टू हैव सब्जेक्ट लाइक इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड जनरल एप्टीट्यूड जी ए हैव फिक्स वेटेज ऑफ 15 मार्क्स एंड इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स यूजुअली कंसिस्ट ऑफ 12 टू 15 मार्क्स दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर यूजुअली फन फॉर इंजीनियर्स or i can say the way to fresh mood so you have to start them parallel with level 1.1 and cover them slowly like once you are bored with technical subjects ek ghanta engineering mathematics ko de diya अगले दिन बोर्ड अगेन तो एक घंटा जनरल एप्टीट्यूड को दे दिया लाइक दिस यू विल कंप्लीट दी लेवल 1.1 एंड लेवल 1.2 इंक्लूडिंग न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्विंग टोटल नाइन सब्जेक्ट्स एंड एज पर मी दीज वुड रिक्वायर लिस्टेड आवर्स टू कंप्लीट विच समू वन थ्री थ्री जीरो आवर्स दिस इंक्लूड वॉचिंग दी लेक्चर सॉल्विंग चैप्टर वाइज न्यूमेरिकल एंड मेकिंग नोट नाउ लेटेस्ट शिफ्ट टू लेवल टू पावर सिस्टम इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन 
and power electronics. These are slightly tougher and requires basics from level 1.1. That is why I start level 2 when you are done with level 1.1. Again same way to find out the best course. Watching lectures, cover the topic by separate search if not available in your chosen free playlist and finally solving the chapter wise numericals. Electrical machine has a very large syllabus like induction motor, synchronous motor, DC motor and also their generator counterpart. And ye sab samajhne ke liye pehle bahut sara basics bhi padhna padta hai. So you will require 275 hours to complete this subject. Power system and power electronics can be completed in 180 hours each provided you are dedicated enough. Our total sum of dedicated study hours goes to 1965 hours. Up to this we are done with academics. Humne sab kuch ek bari padh liya hai. Now we are ready to revise, solving previous years and so on. But wait, this process should not be sequential. We started level 1.1 and level 1.2 in parallel. We shifted to level 2 subjects after level 1 but during level 2 advanced subjects you will get frustrated because that's what the competitive exam preparation is. Sometimes you will not be able to solve questions leading to demotivation and time waste or time waste bilkul bhi allowed nahi hai. Consistency is the key to top any competitive exam. That is why we will do a trick here. You will start level 2. You will solve easy questions and tough questions daily. So that some sort of confidence is there. Because easy wale to se solve ho jayenge. Believe me, just after some time we will be solving any numerical with ease. All you need to do is to watch the lecture with full concentration. Still, the story is not complete because along with level 2, you will start cyclic revision of level 1.1 and 1.2 subjects. Let us say give 2 hours daily or full day a week for already completed subjects to revise them. During this cyclic revision, you will not just read the long notes, solve few problems and take short notes. Please take short notes now only because it would be saving a lot of time for you. So assume 9 level 1 subjects and 16 hours for each subject revision. That sums up to 144 hours. Hence level 2 and cyclic revision of level 1 subject is completed. Now download the previous 10 year papers. It is very important to understand the kind of questions IIT's frames. They just test your aptitude and to make sure that you clear the gate with 60 plus marks just solve previous 10 years paper by the test series as well because usually all the test series provides previous 10 year papers chapter wise numericals and all those things you can solve those papers real time and check your marks in parallel do cyclic revision of level 2 subjects and take short notes so jabhi aap previous year ke question solve kar rahe hain usi time pe aapko parallel mein jo level 2 ke subjects se unka revision karna hai kyunki level 1 ka to aapne kar liya tha aur level 2 ka nahi hua tha now some guys will solve the previous year paper check their marks and move ahead and that is the biggest blender during any exam preparation. Solving previous year papers, giving test series would cost you 3 hours. But after that you have to analyze your test paper, note the mistake. 9 hours are usually required for beginners to do proper analysis. Hence 12 hours for one previous year paper which amount to 120 hours for 10 papers. You also made short notes and cyclic revision of level 2 subjects that would cost around 20 into 3. 60 hours. You have come this long watching the video. That's great and looks like you are interested enough in gate preparation. So if you like the content then just hit a like button. Now let's shift the gear to test series. Start with subject wise test and complete all. It would help to revise again. Take help of long notes during this. One more thing to add. If you wish then you can start chapter wise test series after completing level 1 only. That would also help you to revise. So it is all together your choice when to start subject wise test. Matlab aap level 1 or level 2 ke jab subject kar rahe te, us time pe bhi aap parallel mein start kar sakte the. Ya abhi aapne sab kuch padh liya hai previous year de diye hai. Us uske baad bhi aap revision ke purpose se start kar sakte hai. Aur pehle bhi aap cyclic revision ke time pe bhi start kar sakte hai. I am giving 1.5 month 360 hours minimum for test series completion and analyzing the same. I would again point out that please please analyze each and every test. This would just boost your marks help you identify silly mistakes and score big in gate exam. I believe after doing all this, there must be minimum 100 hours gap between you and the gate exam. During this, you will revise the subjects using short notes, read your test series analysis and you may give one or two tests again. Don't give any test series exam a day before gate exam. One day before gate exam, just be relaxed have faith on your preparation. If you really did this much and followed the roadmap, 
then you will be doing really really good in your gate exam so if i sum up everything level 1 1330 hours level 2 635 hours level 1 revision 144 hours level 2 revision 60 hours previous year paper plus analysis 120 hours test series plus analysis 360 hours final revision 100 hours it is 2749 hours amounting to 344 days if given 8 hours daily i haven't added flexible timings for electrical gate preparation so you have to be disciplined enough for completing it in the given time which amounts to around one year of serious preparation but a student have to go classes labs during btec that is why it is recommended to start in fourth semester to conveniently complete your gate preparation that's it for the video i hope this will certainly help you out if something is left or any doubt then add the comment i will reply with best of my knowledge